Small reduced hydrocarbons such as butanol have been pursued for biofuel applications with great intensity for the past few years. Butanol in particular has received major attention. In this paper, Liao and co-workers demonstrate an alternate pathway for butanol and related compounds by rerouting of amino acid biosynthesis intermediates. The more typical route to N-butanol uses enzymes from the clostridium butyrate pathway to generate butyryl-CoA. First, two molecules of acetyl-CoA undergo a Claisen condensation to generate acetoacetyl-CoA. This four-carbon intermediate is reduced to the alcohol, then eliminated to the alkene, then reduced to the saturated butanoate chain. This sequence is very similar to the steps involved in fatty acid synthase production of larger alkyl chains. An enzyme from another organism performs these last two steps in which the thioester is reduced twice with NADPH to the alcohol. Atsumi instead branches off of amino acid biosynthesis. They recognize that in many amino acid biosynthetic pathways, there's an alpha keto acid intermediate including those for amino acids with short alkyl chains. Decarboxylation of this species would generate the aldehyde and reduction would lead to the short chain alcohol. They are able to branch off of six alpha keto acid intermediates to generate these six different alcohols. Notice that two different isomers of butanol, including the same one in the clostridium pathway, are generated. To perform these two transformations, first to decarboxylate the acid and then reduce the alcohol, they needed to identify a 2-keto acid decarboxylase and a dehydrogenase. The dehydrogenase step is no different than the one encountered in the butyryl-CoA base pathway, since the aldehyde species is the penultimate step in both pathways. So all they must identify is this decarboxylase. They choose five different ones from different organisms, put that into E. coli along with ADH2, and successfully observe formation of isobutanol. KIV-D from Lactococcus works the best. They also find that overexpressing a second copy of the first few steps of leucine biosynthesis improves production. They also examine an alternate route to 2-keto isovalerate from B. subtilis encoded by ALS-S and observe a slightly further improvement in production. Finally, they examine a series of chosen gene knockouts in ADHE, IDHA, FRDAB, FNR, PTA, and PFLB. These genes normally divert flux from pyruvate to generate acetate or lactate far upstream of the 2-keto isovalerate pathway. Through this process, they were able to identify combinations of added genes and removed genes that take them within 86% of the theoretical maximum efficiency.